Kristen Blair Rubio here, Director of Marketing at T1V. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration into our AirConnect BYOD mobile app. Uh, so AirConnect is the application that you use to run on your individual device. It allows you to connect your individual device and share that device wirelessly to any hub in the room. So that could be ThinkHub, ThinkHub Connect, Hub VC. I'll use the same AirConnect app to connect to the hub, to share my content, um, and I'll show you some of the additional features that a remote participant could experience if they're outside of the room as well. So to start, I'll go to t1b.com slash airconnect. This is where I'll download the AirConnect app. I've got several operating systems to pick from here. So we support Mac OS, Windows, 32-bit, uh, Windows 64-bit, Linux, and then we also have versions available uh, for mobile on your Apple App Store and your Google Play Stores. So I've already got the AirConnect app on my laptop, so I'm going to go ahead and launch AirConnect by clicking the AirConnect icon up here. Um, so once I launch my AirConnect application, um, I'll basically go down to this bar, and this is where I'm going to type in my AirConnect credentials. So the AirConnect credentials are always located in the upper right corner of the hub that you're trying to connect to. I'm going to type in my AirConnect key, which is the eight-digit key there. So my key today is JLXVNYAM, and I'll hit Connect. Uh, it's good, then going to prompt me for my password. So my passcode is 8857. I'll hit submit. So now I'm connected. Um, and it doesn't immediately cast my screen. That's a setting that you can adjust on your hub. Um, so I have some options here right at the forefront. So I can cast my screen. I can access ThinkHub. We'll get into that a little bit later. I have options to send notes, send a URL, send a file. I could just disconnect right here if I wanted to, or I can copy all this AirConnect information and share it with anyone else that I would want to join me on my hub session. I'm going to go ahead and cast my screen. When I hit cast my screen, I have the option to share my whole device screen, or I can just select a window. Uh, for today, I'll just select my whole device screen. I'll hit present. And what happened is my device is now visible in the device tray in the bottom of the canvas. So there's a couple options here. I can go up and I can tap the screen. I can blow up my screen as big as I want. The other option, if you don't want to go up to the screen, is I simply go into my AirConnect app and I'll tap focus my screen and think up. And then it's going to immediately just pull down and center my screen on the ThinkHub canvas. So I don't, there's no need to get up if you don't want to get up. Just an option. Um, some other options baked in here. So you can cast a new screen or window if you want to select a different window that you'd like to share while you maybe take notes on the side. You don't want people to see your notes. You have the option there. You can also clear annotations. So that's, for instance, if someone is in your session, they annotate on something on your device screen and you don't want it on your device screen, you can just tap clear annotations and it'll take those annotations away. Um, touch control is a feature that enables um, anyone that's in the room to control your device. So for instance, um, if they wanted to navigate your computer, they could do so just by tapping your shared device screen and you can see that they're controlling my actual laptop using touch control. And that's something you can turn off and on within your AirConnect app. You've also got the capability to send notes, URLs, and files. So if I tap send a note, you'll see that a note appears on my laptop. So I'll send a note to Canvas. You'll see that note appear here. If I hit the plus sign, I can send as many notes as I like to the Canvas. So this is great for brainstorming sessions. If you've got a group of people in the room, you want all their input around different concepts, you can have someone at the front kind of curating those notes, organizing them. And if you're working within groups, um, you can also select the group and assign your notes to groups as you send them to the Canvas. Just another set of features built right in. You also have the ability to send a URL. So I'll just copy this URL and say I want to send that to the canvas. 
I'll hit send and the canvas will open up a web browser of that URL that I've shared. Another nice feature, built in Air Connect. And then finally I have the option to send files. So if I click send file, it's just gonna open up my uh, window here. So I'll just select a presentation that I'd like to send to the canvas. I just selected a PDF. I just loaded the PDF in the corner here. But it's basically taking that file and loading it into ThinkHub so I can navigate and share that content as I like. So just another, you know, if you don't want to be getting up and interacting with content, there's lots of ways you can share different content to the hub from your Air Connect app. Now, say I'm not in the room and I'm working remotely. I'm at Starbucks for the day. I'm calling in. I can hit Access ThinkHub. Now when I hit Access Think Hub, I won't want to be casting because it'll create this kind of infinite canvas effect. But basically now through my access windows, I can see everything that's happening on the canvas. So um, here I'm just in view. I can see that what happens in the room on the canvas is happening in real time through my Air Connect access window. If I switch over to point, this is where I can use my cursor to digitally point at something I want to draw focus to in the room. So, hey team, check out this image. That's easy. And then I also have full control. So, say I want to move this off the canvas. Maybe I want my team to look at this image down here. I can drag that image up and I can control what the in-room or any remote participants are viewing on our shared canvas. I've also got some more features up here. I can download notes, so that'll convert any notes that are shared to the canvas into a CSV file. I can download a PDF of the canvas um, to share with participants, or I can download the entire session itself. So this is a native.tumbx file. Basically, I can save my session, and when I go into the office the next day and I wanna resume that session and keep working, I would just share um, through Air Connect, I would drag the session in via send file, and it would launch that session in my new, um, in my ThinkHub room for the day. So those are some of the features we've built in. Um, we think, you know, as a tool that you can use in room or whether you're remote, it's giving people the same kind of capabilities or functions that they would have um, in room as they would have remotely. So. Um, that's the quick tour of AirConnect. Thanks very much.